We often spend years doing research for a project and months writing up papers and getting them through peer review before they are finally published in scientific journals. So why not spend just a few hours improving the chances of our papers getting noticed by journalists? Who knows, your work might even appear in the news. So how does science actually end up in the news? Science journalists research their topics at conferences, on social media, and by reading published papers on journal websites and preprint servers. They receive press releases about current research from universities and institutes, and they stay up to date by reading the table of contents of relevant journals. Academic journals inform journalists about important papers, even before publication, together with an embargo notice. Journalists use this embargo period, often a few days before the original article gets published, to write their articles and collect background information and quotes from the authors. This embargo period is also used by science media centres, which exist across the world in countries like the UK, Germany, Taiwan and Kenya, which represents all of Africa. There, scientists can get accredited as experts. These science media centres then regularly publish statements on current topics based on the statements of the accredited researchers. They reach thousands of journalists. Here are some concrete tips on what you can do to help your research to be noticed. Work with the press office of your university or research institute. When you publish a paper, write a generally understandable abstract for them. Prepare two or three punchy quotes. This will allow press office staff to use the materials you gave them to write a press release and distribute it to their own network of journalists and distribution lists. If you provide additional visual material, your story might be picked up easier. You can, of course, also use your own social media networks. Sum up your recent paper in a Twitter thread. Clearly state the main findings and explain their implications. The vast majority of science journalists are on Twitter and some might find you and even follow you there. If you have a paper in print, be available during the embargo period prior to publication. Respond quickly to inquiries from journalists. Most of the time, they have to meet editorial deadlines. Ask journalists which media outlet they work for and tailor your message accordingly. Clarify whether they just need a quote from you, an expert opinion on a topic, or if they are planning a longer interview. In some countries, it is fairly common that journalists send their article for a final fact check to the scientist they are interviewing. In other countries, this may be unusual and you will only see the final work once it's published. Ask journalists what to expect and make sure you can work with their timelines. The more professional the mutual interaction is, the more likely you will remain in contact with each other. And more often than not, that will benefit not just the journalists, but also you.